Well, hello, Geminis. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your December 2017 reading. Um, I'm going to start out with the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. I want to say thank you very much to those of you who have come to me for weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and etc. Uh, readings and who have followed up with me via comments and emails about how you allowed for spirit and hope and all of these wonderful energies to come into your path and to guide you and then to provide me with how your life has changed because of Spirit's guidance. Um, welcome to those of you who are new. Uh, what I'm gonna start off doing is I'm just gonna pull a card from the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue and I'm gonna ask for a word of prayer that we can close with at the end of the reading. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Gemini with a word of prayer that we can close with when it comes to the end of this reading. Thank you. Now I'm not going to look at that card right now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to do a circle spread and I'm going to ask Spirit to please talk about um, any financial or career-related or career-related issues, concerns, and or messages. So dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign, or those who have a lot of Gemini in their chart, with clearly defined messages regarding career and financial energies for the month of December 2017. Circle spread, please. Okay. So the card representing your current life path here on Earth at this time is the underworld card. So there's a bit of caution here in December or as you see the video. The underworld card speaks of you guys or someone else having some sort of ulterior motive when it comes to your actions, your plans, your goals. Um, and I'm going to uh, clarify this card and the rest of the deck as we go through each step of the circle spread with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Gemini with clearly defined messages regarding December 2017 career and finance. Okay, so yes, if some of you are trying to partner up with someone or to connect in some sort of alliance, know at this time that uh, it's a good time to be cautious. All right, I also see and notice for some reason I don't usually, that the Partnership and Alliance card is being represented by the number three. I always feel with the energies of this card like somebody's reaching out for help, but be careful who you're helping or be careful how you're helping them. So in your thoughts position, some of you may be thinking of someone who has a lot of water in their chart or who is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because it's a general reading. Um, that's being provided with balance. All right, so keep your heart open to the opportunities, but also take your time to observe, to communicate with spirit, and to listen to your intuition as you take small steps so that you can remain balanced, Geminis, as you are connecting out to this person or situation. Now in your relationship sector, and this could be relationship with a business connection. I feel like if it is, it's a very personal connection as far as maybe a small business or a client or a partner. I also do and cannot help uh, acknowledging that the relationship sector does have your energies and a spiritual union. So sometimes I see this card as the spiritual union of oneself, but it is lined up with the underworld card and the partnership. And um, so make sure not to mix business with pleasure at this time in December. I feel like somebody definitely has ulterior motives and that's why Spirit's saying remain balanced and just kind of observe and don't move too quickly in December. So in your creative inspirations position, you have the waiting game. 
energies. Now, that's been a very common card lately, but in your position of creativity, Spirit's saying that you are currently, currently, some of you, not all of you, going through some sort of recovery. This is the Nine of Wands. So this is actually looking at what you've created. Remember to give yourself a pat on the back as you're recovering from all that has been up to now. And as you move forward into some new partnerships and alliances, make sure you and everyone else are on the same page, that everything is balanced, because I believe Spirit's trying to bring in a spiritual union when it comes to something you're very passionate about. Now, in your actions position, some of you, not all of you, have the energies of the authority card. So this is either coming into connection with someone who has great authority over their path or it is the energies you're giving off when it comes to the green man energies. This is stepping into a new path. And Spirit's saying with the green man energies that everything, every step you take, you are, uh, everything's starting to bloom for you, see? The flowers, the trees, the grass grows, and that's how you know when something is working for you because things flow smoothly. When you run into things, obstacles, people who make you step back, then you have to be cautious because that might not be the right path. You also have to be cautious with the authority card as far as I'm concerned to yes, take authority of your path, but be, pardon me, um, don't become authoritative to others. Uh, especially when you're trying to align and create a partnership with someone. Pardon me. Okay, so in your emotional aspects position, some of you may feel like you're trapped in fear of sort, some sort. Remember, fear is a figment of your imagination. Replace fear with exciting new goals because emotionally if you do so there will be success with the six of wands you're coming out of your head you're coming up over the edge because you're not allowing yourself to be trapped in fear you're allowing yourself to set goals and get excited about new directions now in your subconscious spirit saying you have the energies of the power card to set your goals and to slowly but surely move towards those goals as you are consistently observing but continuing to move Listening to your intuition, like the king of water, we have the queen of water in your subconscious. So listen to your intuition when it comes to partnerships, to maybe the ulterior motives of others, but know that you have the power to follow those goals when it comes to something you're very passionate, or maybe even a person or a connection you're very passionate about. Maybe it's even a project, and you feel as though this is a spiritual union. So make sure everything is balanced, make sure that you wait and heal. There's some sort of recovery here. So be creative in this new path. Take your time, get excited, uh, but definitely remain balanced knowing that you will succeed and it will be emotional. Um, in your practical matters position, we have patience. Be patient when it comes to the world tree. Because this is uh, bringing something to an end and coming to a new beginning. But as you can see, if you step in this world path, you've got beautiful sunshine. If you step in this world path, you've got forever questioning, wondering, worrying about things being hidden from you. If you step into this path, you've got uh, deception. So, you know, be patient as you plant this new beautiful path in your life. It starts with this very first seed. So take care of the creative parts as you're recovering, as you're observing others, as you're contemplating partnerships, as you're taking authority over your own path, as you're leaving, leading yourself towards success. In your inner strengths position, we've got some sort of sacrifice. And that sacrifice is causing suffering. But you have the energies in your inner strength position of sacrifice and suffering to be able to stand strong in your authority as you make partnerships. Um, remember that you don't have to suffer as you are 
sacrificing trying to move forward. The best way to avoid suffering in yourself and others is to very calmly and truthfully explain your priorities, your goals, your objectives. That's what will help you and everyone else recover. That's what will help you and everyone else release uh, concerns of any fear so you can move towards success, so you can move towards uh, a balanced and spiritual union with others in December 2017. So in a, uh, a three card spread to my right, we've got the first week and a half to two weeks, some of you feeling very much up in your head about creating or maintaining a solid foundation. In the next two to three weeks, we've got you guys moving faithfully, positively, in a new direction forward. Releasing yourself from some sort of bondage. Um, yeah, recovering as you let go, but getting excited about positive movement forward. Right behind that is the triumphant success sword. This is beautiful as, it, as much as it is difficult because you're breaking through into this brand new world for the very first time. And the reason the sword is double-edged is because you're breaking through, but you're having to sacrifice uh, people from the old path in order to start the new path. But the new path, I believe, is a blessing from the universe to give you an opportunity to see and we've got triumph here twice in a row. How you can triumph by taking your time, by partnering, by alliancing yourself with the right people as you heal, as you figure out what is this spiritual drive within you. Now in the next four to six weeks, and I know that's over a month, but going into January, I do feel there's going to be a fulfillment of wishes. In fact, I've been feeling like Christmas is going to be a big gift from spirit this year something wonderful is coming so in the meantime know that this whole reading speaks a lot about applying your skills so that you can eventually get to where your wishes are fulfilled and when they are not only will prosperity begin financially but it's going to begin in a way where your heart grows so i feel like for some of you this is a very spiritual uh journey whereas some of you are helping others and some of you by helping others are going to find balance within yourselves and that's beautiful now i think what i'm gonna do i was gonna add the rider weight deck oh they just said you're 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 rising to a higher level spiritually therefore old battles no longer need to be fought the star card is here as well, saying that as you hope, wish, and pray, Geminis, in the month of December, you will receive the assistance of spirit to manifest this new beautiful beginning. I'm going to see what else they have to say here. Yes, it's a creative project in the new, next two to three weeks. Work on that recovery. Work on the waiting game. Work on whatever this creative uh, skill is because Spirit's providing you with the Ace of Wands to passionately go after that. Even if financially some of you may not feel completely balanced, know that you are becoming the Lord of your path. This is now after you've broken through into this world. This is you walking this path of nature and beauty and animals. Who do you want to bring into that path? And as you do, know that yes, you will have to put an end to an old path. But this is a spiritual transformation have happening for a reason. So let go of any old empty cups that no longer fulfill you. Don't have regret when you have two cups still available to you. Some of you are going to do some traveling. Maybe you don't know exactly where this path is going to lead you. But you're taking steps in a new direction towards success nonetheless. And during this process, that is when you're going to have to make some sort of sacrifice. Don't do it because of discontent. Do it because you've earned these energies. 
you've earned the wishes, the fulfillment of your wishes. So in your outcome position in the next four to six weeks, Spirit saying with the prudence energies, contemplate how far you've come, what you've learned about yourself, acknowledge your experience and your knowledge, and apply those blessings as you move forward. Because as you're moving forward, again, I see the Ace of Swords saying that in this new direction, there will be a great reward of sorts. Now, I'm clarifying romance-wise. So we've got 15 minutes and 37 seconds, if anybody wants to timestamp. So they are speaking of partnerships and alliances and trusting others and not really making that great effort until you know that this is a love worth taking. In your thoughts, some of you may think that someone is a soulmate, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but find balance over December as you sit and observe and listen to your intuition. There may be a past life connection that some of you feel very passionate about. And maybe some of you are wondering if that is your spiritual union, because that's your partnership section. But make sure it is about great love before moving forward. In your creative inspirations position, we have strong magnetic chemistry, waiting, recovering, so some of you are waiting because Spirit's asking for you to kind of be patient and heal before going towards another new magnetic chemistry. In your actions position, we have authority. We have you knowing in your heart as things are starting to flow beautifully in your direction that it is time to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. So in your actions position, open your heart to see without the authoritative energies if that love is received, if things unfold beautifully, naturally, as you step into this new path. Now, in your emotional aspects position, we have got trapped in fear. Turn fear into goals, exciting new goals. Know that there will be success. You will be climbing out of your head, letting go of old energies of people from the past. And that is going to take a lot of emotional strength. So again, don't go towards the magnetic chemistry until you have completely recovered from a past relationship. In your subconscious, we have the power to go after your goals, but the ability to listen to your intuition when it comes to figuring out if your feelings and the feelings of someone else are worth exploring. Now, it is lined up with partnerships and alliances, but it is also lined up with the underworld energies of ulterior motives. There's passion but is this a spiritual union? In the next, uh, in your practical day-to-day -day matters, we have having patience, planting seeds, contemplating a brand new path as you're bringing an old path to a close. And Spirit's saying, as you do that, forgive yourself. As you ha are recovering, it's your self-respect that'll make you more attractive. So love yourself first on a day-to-day -day basis and then observe and be patient before stepping into a new world path. Because in your inner strengths position, you guys are having to sacrifice, you're dealing with some sort of suffering because you're sacrificing something, and we do have a warning that you guys should be able to handle a codependency energy. That means some of you, not all of you, may be addicted to a person, place, environment, situation, etc. And Spirit's saying it's safe for you to love, but just make sure of you or someone else's ulterior motives before entering a partnership. Don't enter a partnership because you may be addicted to anything. Earthbound. Person, place, substance. That needs to be cleared first. So in the first week and a half to two weeks, there's mental conflict when it comes to your foundation. Maybe because some of you are connecting out to someone and they've been connecting back and uh, it's time for heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It's time 
to turn hope maybe into reality by getting to the point. Now in the next two to three weeks, we've got positive movement forward and we've got bondage. Well, bondage is a uh, figment of your imagination. We are never stuck. But we do need to understand and keep an open mind that a soulmate may be different than your usual type for a reason. When I see this picture, I see two women gawking over this man and he just doesn't seem to be the most open, caring, giving person. Uh, maybe he's in bondage in his thoughts and he's trying to make positive movement forward, but I feel he is definitely feeling stuck. So in the next four to six weeks, Gemini, focus on some sort of skill and the fulfillment of wishes because of the skill that you have. You will eventually be able to figure out if you want to give some sort of relationship a chance. In the meantime, spirit saying, just hope, wish, and pray on a star, hand it to spirit, and know that divine timing is at work. Spirit has heard you guys. Come to a resolution at this time. Focus on career and finances on this new path. Keep your heart open, but have honest communications with those around you. Be willing to sacrifice someone in your path. Maybe not let them in if this is not a romance of a lifetime. But let's see. We've got the chariot. We've got discontentment. We've got tradition. So yes, yeah, some of you are going to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And then <clears throat> the fulfillment of wishes will be that you give a relationship a chance and that it works out. But it is about getting to know each other slowly but surely. As your bond is deepening, there will be a reward. Now, not necessarily marriage, but there will be a reward when it comes to, I think, figuring out who you are through this other person. Yes, and again, I'm seeing finances in here. So finances should be number one. Uh, listen to your intuition. If there's a strong magnetic chemistry, have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, use the king and queen uh, of cups energies to really just observe a situation for some time. Don't move too quickly. Um, and don't be too authoritative with others, you know. We know not what we do, or they know not what they do, right? Now, I do have some Lenormand cards here, and the center card speaks of the entire read. Who and what are you offering your heart to? What is most important to you? Some of you are starting out with the ship card that could involve travel, new projects, new beginnings, and with the path energies, some of you are contemplating a new direction. That's why you're traveling. You're going after what is meant most to you in your heart. And in the outcome, in the last part of the month, we do see the garden and the rider. So this has to do with you guys are someone else coming in and just wanting to maybe have a playful good time. Um, and at some point, maybe deliver that message of whether or not you want to work on a relationship. Just remember to be honest with someone else if they are on your mind at this time. Be honest with yourself about what you truly want at this time. To close, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to read from the uh, word of prayer we pulled earlier, but I wanted to quick pull an angel message. And you guys received Francesca. She says, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will only block your progress. And it's a perfect card for this reading. 
stay positive, have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, release the pain and anguish of the past. That might be what it is you're sacrificing. Don't feel codependent. Only make the effort uh, if you feel that true love is meant to be in your path. And that's going to go through, that's going to uh, <clears throat> depend on heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversations and revealing your innermost selves to each other. So it is, it could be a very, very beautiful December in love, where in your um, Christmas time, uh, it could be some really beautiful gifts. Um <clears throat> But it's about getting to the truth. In the meantime, I feel like there is a very spiritual new direction that you guys are going in financially. And um, I, I pray that all of you, uh, when spirit is connected to what it is you're doing, you find great success and fulfillment. And I pray that you guys who are, in, who are searching for that in December, that you find that and that your gift is that fulfillment, that contentment, that happiness from spirit through you. Because that will make you shine. That will make you release or help for you to release and recover the past and anyone from your past so that you can wholeheartedly go into this new connection if you're single, of course. Now, your word of prayer that we pulled earlier was honesty. Hmm. All right. And the card says, I am in touch with my true feelings regarding the situation. So to close, I'm going to read from the book. You receive this card in answer to your question because Mother Mary sees a need for self-honesty if you are to proceed. What do you have to admit to yourself about your current situation? When you think about it, what feelings arise and why? It's important to take stock of your emotions and thoughts about anything that confuses you or annoys you. Otherwise, you're reacting instead of taking charge of your path. <clears throat> Although the ego is threatened by looking deeper, it's an essential component of healing the situation. This card guides you to take some time to evaluate and understand your feelings. Remember, you're entitled to them and they are neither right or wrong. Very often, your feelings are the voices of angels delivering God's guidance to you. Who are you and what are you truly devoting your heart to in December 2017? Thank you again for stopping by. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at josiek42 at gmail.com and my information is listed in the box below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Take care and God bless.